Hey, Frag Fam, today we're going to be reviewing Anucci Sport by Anucci. Let's talk about it. Hey friends, John here from Proverbs 27.9 Fragrances. Today we are reviewing a Nucci Sport by a Nucci. Go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It's got the notification bell on. That way you're notified every time we upload this sweet smell of fragrance like a So a Nucci and a Nucci Sport is a fragrance that I've kind of had my eye on for a while. Simply because I like the presentation. I know Many of you are not going to like it. Um, it's basically a small golf ball on top of a big golf ball. Uh, but there was just something about it that, um, you know, just kind of stuck out to me. This is not one that I remember my dad having back when I was young. Um, so it's not really nostalgic from that, you know, perspective. Uh, but for whatever reason, it just was one that always stuck out to me as something that I thought I would like to smell. When I, was when I was studying on it, I realized that the original Anucci was a more of a soft white floral uh, scent. I was kind of, um, you know, uh, surprised by that. You know, I, I thought it would be more of a classic robust, uh, you know, mainly fragrance like Bichon or, you know, Gentleman or, you know, Boss One or something like that. But that's not what it is. It's a soft white floral. It's uh, similar to, you know, what Issey Miyake did with Lode de Issey, things of that nature. Um, but the sport version, on the other hand, um, is more of a sweet, warm, spicy fragrance. Now, the marketing on that, I'd say they got it backwards. Uh, but, you know, because when I think of a sport, I think of more fresh, uh, you know, citrus, floral, things of that nature. But... Anyways, they, they labeled this Anucci Sport. Um, it's a, a 1989 release. Um, and, and let me just kind of show you this bottle. Again, you've got the golfer there on the front, Anucci Sport, um, Eau de Toilette here. Um, you've just got your batch code on the bottom. Um, cap. Um, cap is glass as well. You got all um, unscrewable, so you could decant that very easy. Kind of a stock atomizer there. Um, it does click into place. Not click, but it does go on very, you heard that pop, it goes on very snug. Watch it spray here. Atomizer is very good. What do we get when we smell this one? Well, this one, again, is a sweet, warm, amber fragrance. Um, it's it's uh, classified, at least on uh, Fragrantica, as a woody sheepra. I wouldn't call it that as, at, at all. Um, it's more of a sweet, spicy amber, like I said. Uh, the notes are, the top notes are woody notes, chamomile, bergamot, citruses, and jasmine. Uh, the middle notes are vetiver, patchouli, lavender. The base notes are amber, musk, and oak moss. And I have to say, there's a lot of those notes that I do not smell. I don't smell, for instance, any oak moss in this fragrance at all. The patchouli, um, if it's there, it's very mild. It's very low. There is some nice um, creamy woodiness. It's not a, it's not kind of a harsh cedar. It's more like a creamy sandalwood or Palo Santo, something of that nature. You get a nice lavender, um, although it's not a soapy lavender. Uh, it's more of an essential oil type of lavender smell. Again, if there's vetiver and patchouli. They're kind of in the background. What you get the most is the ambers. Um, 
The sweetness, I'm not sure. It doesn't smell citrusy sweet. It smells more tonka bean sweet. And tonka bean is not listed as a note here. There's a little bit of a nutty and fruity nuance to it. And so really what it smells like to me is if you've ever, and I, I'm not a fan of the Yupe original, but Yupe um, Eau de Parfum that I have or the New Parfum where it's this kind of um, stronger with you type of fragrance, kind of a um, not as sweet Paco Rabanne 1 million like Parfum or Elixir, one of those. Uh, it's not it's not as sickeningly sweet as those are, um, but it's just a sweet, warm, amber, woody, slightly musky kind of nutty fragrance and, and that patchouli actually may be lending that nuttiness that it's almost like a kind of a like a cocoa bean or something like that and patchouli can come across kind of chocolatey but it's just it, it smells you know for this to be a 1989 fragrance it smells like a 2000 and and 22 or 23 or 24 fragrance it really does um, it's not out of date so if you like things like Stronger With You, One Million, uh, but you think they're too sweet, this would be a good one to grab because it's cheap and it smells very modern. It smells like those fragrances, you know, Wanted By Night, uh, things in that, that ballpark, but it's not near as spoilingly sweet as those. So if you like those fragrances, but you think they're too sweet, this would be a good one to to get again I know the bottle is tacky but nobody's gonna see your tacky bottle it's gonna sit on your nightstand they're just gonna smell this wonderful uh, fragrance that's coming off of it so projection on it is good it's not beast mode um, it's an arm's length when you spray it on people are gonna smell it um, it projects well for about the first hour or so uh, longevity is good again it, it's gonna last you a work day six to eight hours um, you may become a little nose blind to it before that, but um, other folks are going to smell you. I've wore this and had people tell me after I got home from work, I'd been wearing it six or seven, eight hours, and they say, hey, what are you wearing? You smell good. Um, and in sillage, it's good as well. You're going to leave a nice scent trail um, as your, you know, your skin warms up. It's going to project. It's going to get off of you. So um, this is a very good fragrance, very underrated fragrance. I think again, because of the bottle design, it's overlooked, but if you like those sweet, warm, amber fragrances, again, it's going to be best for early spring, fall or winter, evenings, night outs, dates, things of that nature. Anucci Sport, even though that doesn't sound like it should be in that category, this is going to be a good fragrance for you. All right, let me know what you think, if you've ever smelt it or the original. Um, leave a comment down below, like, share the video. Till we see you down the road, I say God bless. Frag on, frag. On.